so you have $200 or less to buy your next GPU. Well, that's probably why you clicked on this video, unless you're broke and are just watching this because you're bored. I'm not going to bore you guys with any specs and a bunch of nonsense. I'm just going to show you the prices and then jump into the benchmarks. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a recap and show you guys the performance per dollar for all of these graphics cards. So the top five GPUs that cost $200 or less are the following. The EVGA GTX 1060 3 gigabyte variant that goes for $199. And please keep in mind that these are the prices at the time of making this video and they will change over time. We also have the MSI RX 470 also going for $200. However, this one has a $15 mail-in rebate, but I'm not going to count discounts. We also have the ASUS Strix R9 380 that's going for $190. Then we got the Gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti Overclock Edition for $160. The ASUS Strix RX 460 Overclock Edition as well for $135. And finally, as a bonus card, the new Gigabyte GTX 1050, which retails for $120. Here is a list of the PCI cables needed to power each GPU. And you guys can pause the screen to check it out if you need more time. And finally, here is a list for all of the ports that each card comes with. For benchmarks, I used my trusty old test bed that's rocking the 5930K that's overclocked to 4.5 GHz, 16 gigs of RAM, and an ASUS X99 Strix motherboard, just to make sure that there are no bottlenecking in the results. I've also re-ran fresh benchmarks for all of these cards using the latest drivers, so with that said, here are the benchmarks. So what did we learn here? Well, if you want the best graphics card for $200, the obvious choice is the EVGA GTX 1060 over the RX 470. It also has the second highest score in terms of price to performance. Now, if you want the best bang for your buck, the GTX 1050 is the obvious choice, coming in at just $2.08 per FPS. The second card that gives you the most value is the GTX 1060, like I just mentioned, and then in third place is the RX 470. Regardless, in the end, it comes down to what your budget is and how much you are willing to spend. There is definitely a huge gap between the performance of the GTX 1050 Ti and the GTX 1060. For only $40, I would definitely save up and buy the GTX 1060 instead. But if you only want to game in 1080p and want to get the most value out of your money, the obvious choice is the GTX 1050. Once again, I'll drop a link to all these cards down below. Surprisingly, the GTX 1060 is also the smallest card out of the six, which tells you guys, size does not matter. So a lot of you guys keep asking me, Ed, where do you get all your music from to use in your videos? Well, I actually have a few sources, but the main one is Audible. In fact, the music that you guys are listening to right now in the background, as well as the benchmark music that you guys listened to earlier, are both from Audible. If you guys haven't heard of them, Audioblocks has one of the largest stock audio libraries on the internet with over 100,000 audio clips, loops, music, and even sound effects. The reason why I like using them is because all of their audio clips are royalty free, which means I won't run into any copyright issues. Now, normally the subscription will cost $99 a year, but just for my subscribers only, they are offering an exclusive $50 discount so you guys can get an entire year for just $49. That's unlimited downloads for music, sound effects, and even loops. So definitely check them out if you guys are interested. Visit audioblocks.com holidays or click on the link down below. I'm gonna give a huge thanks to Audioblocks for sponsoring this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching 